ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. On today's episode, well, we've got another vintage cider, and you know I love me some vintages. And it is also my first time to the Sheppies Cider Company to check out their, well, what else? Their Vintage Reserve Oak Matured Somerset Cider. Um, this one has been sitting in the fridge for quite a while now, so it was well overdue for a review. I actually got this one off, um, I think it was the Morrison store shelves. I don't know whether they still stock it or not, because it has been quite a while since I got it. But you can still get it off their website. So, how will this vintage taste? We'll find out soon, but until then, let's get some details on Sheppy's Vintage Reserve Cider. Sheppy's Vintage Reserve comes in 500 milliliter bottles. I believe that's the only way you can get it as well, but I wouldn't be surprised if you can get it on cask too. The alcohol percentage is 7.4%, so pretty standard for a uh, vintage cider to be honest. Um, it doesn't say if it's going to be sweet or dry, although to be honest I'll be very surprised if it is a sweet one. And the price, well, you can only get um, mixed, well, full boxes on the Sheppy's website, but they work out at about one pound pound ninety per bottle so it is definitely worth it as for um off the shelves like in um morrison's i believe i got this from i think it's more like two pound nineteen you're going to pay for it so well just uh do your shopping about if you want to get the cheapest price well as you can see it's um very very cold on this here bottle i think i've got the fridge turned up too much but to be honest it really doesn't matter with ciders if they're cold so that doesn't really matter but i i really like this bottle design it's um well i think the word is rustic it just well it just seems like a vintage cider you know it's just um you know got the old gold plating and everything and it just looks very rustic very homely and yeah i'd see this um actually on someone's you know collection of bottles if they're you know keeping it and the cap is awesome too but i'll show that in a sec so let's have a look at the front well, the first thing that catches your eye is the amount of blooming awards this one's won. It's the, uh, it's won the Quality Drink Award, it's the Quality Drink Awards winner. Um, this is their 2011 vintage, because you know they do vintages by years. Um, let's see, it's got award-winning family cider makers since 1816, so these guys have been around for a long, long time. Vintage Reserve Oak Matured Somerset Cider, Quality Drink Award winner in 2009 and 2010, and it won the Platinum Award in 2010 as well. Not just the gold, the Platinum. So, well, for this to beat all the other ciders in that year, it must be blooming good. Let's check the back. Vintage Cider, 500 mils. Good to know. A high quality traditional cider bursting with character and made with the finest cider apples from our orchards in a single year's hardest. This cider is aged in our impressive historic oak vats. No artificial flavours or colours. Now, I have noticed it said made with the finest cider apples from our orchards in a single year's harvest. I can't see this being an artificial cider. If it is then I'll be very disappointed, but it's just the word with. It, um, yeah, it kind of bodes not too well, because normally you, uh, with real cider, you see made from apples, you know, made from 100% apples. Anyway, I've talked about that before. Let's go and get Sheppy's Vintage Reserve open. There we go. Oh, a lot of smoke right there. Of course, that doesn't do much either. Now, you probably won't be able to see this, but look at that cap. Isn't that awesome? little horse pulling a cart. That'll belong in any um, bottle cap collector's shelf, that's for sure. Let's get a whiff. Ooh, it's definitely carbonated, that's for sure. Let's get a whiff. Oh, as I expected, really dry, oaky, robust apple scents. Oh, very tannic too. Just as a um, vintage should be. You're getting a slight hint of acidity as well, and it does smell quite astringent. All in all, shaping up to be a very good one, this. So let's go and get it in the glass, shall we? Now, does it have sediment? I can't tell. But yes, it is definitely lightly sparkling. No, I don't think there's any sediment, so... Let's go and get this in the glass. Post haste. Whoa there, you're a bit of a lively one, aren't you? There we go, get it all in. Anything left? No. Right, let's have an old look at this then. 
Well, it's um, quite dark in colour, actually. I'd say um, almost like an amber sort of colour. That's uh, no, definitely not your typical side of the colour. Don't know if you can see that, but um, yeah, pretty clear. Lightly sparkling after all that um, fizz on the top. Still got a little bit of froth, but I'm sure that'll dissipate pretty soon. So, let's go and get a whiff in the glass now. Yeah, you're still really getting those um, dry, tannic, robust apple hits. Oh, that does smell really, really good. Um, you're definitely smelling uh, the oak as well, because it does say it has been matured in oak vats, so nothing out of the ordinary there. I'll tell you what it kind of reminds me of. It kind of reminds me of uh, the Henry Weston's vintage um, that I've had. It smells pretty much exactly like that. But, will it taste like it? Only one way to find out, and that's to give it a go. Cheers, guys, and uh, here's to my first Sheppy Cider. Whoa. Wow. Okay, instantly, you are hit with the oak. Normally, with... Oh, and still it's coming. Wow. Okay, um, normally, with um, vintage reserve ciders, they, um, they kind of have a sort of a subdued flavour to begin with, and then you're hit with the oak. But this one, you are instantly hit um, with the oak, the um, oak textures and everything. Cool. Let's get a second opinion straight away. For the uninitiated insiders, this one will probably knock you for six, that is for sure. Yeah, as I've just said, you are just instantly smacked with um, oak characteristics off of this. Um, very, you know, it's pretty dry. I knew it would be, it would be um, a dry cider. Um, there's no real sweetness at all to it. I would say that this is um, definitely a dry cider we have here. And... Um, yeah, the aftertaste, as usual with most of these ciders, is um, just smoky oak characteristics. Um, it's pretty much just brimming with oaks. I mean, um, wow, just so much flavour is coming into this. Um, but again, you're still getting a nice, dry, um, sort of like an astringent apple taste as well. Um, I wouldn't say it's anything like um, like Dabernay or Kingston Black or... I'm not quite sure what Apple actually is. Let's get another one. Hmm. Cool. Oh. It might be a Jersey Brown because uh, it is pretty dry. Um... Whew, yeah. It's leaving... Um, it is kind of leaving my mouth being a little bit parched, but you're still getting a nice, um, refreshing bit right at the back of the throat, which, uh, is kind of moistening my throat up a little bit, so I'm not, you know, immediately going back to the cider for another sip just to, uh, further quench my thirst, as some of these other dry ciders have done. Whew, but overall, this is, um, a very, very impressive cider. I'm... I wasn't expecting that much of a taste sensation, actually, so um, I can see why this has won so many awards, because this is a very top-quality cider. And you know what the real good thing is? You can buy this one off the store shelves. You don't have to um, go straight to the um, cider maker's website to buy it. As I said, you can, you, you um, well, you could get it off Morrison's store shelves. I don't know whether they still do it, but strangely enough, a, quite a couple of years back, actually, I actually saw this one in a little corner shop just down the road from me, and they uh, were selling it for £2.59, which, again, is a bit excessive, but, yeah, that was a bit uh, surprising, seeing a top-quality cider like this in a little corner shop. Maybe it came in by mistake. I don't know. Let's get another one. Mm. Despite all these flavours, it is still a very light-tasting cider. Um, I mean, it tastes strong, but the texture is just so light and easy to drink that you would be hard, you know, be hard pushed to think that this was actually a 7.4% ABV cider that you are actually drinking. It's another danger cider, as I say so many other times. Um, but yeah, just so many gorgeous flavours 
you know, especially if you like your oak. So, real, real top quality one. So, let's get a final taste before the final verdict. Mmm. Yeah, I've pretty much said all that needs to be said. If you like oak matured vintage ciders, this is going to be the perfect cider for you. Um, I would even go so far as to say it's probably the best vintage cider and the best oak matured cider that I've actually tasted. Because there is just so much oak flavour. Um, as I have said, with some of the other ones, it kind of has a more subdued flavour at the start and then it kind of grows up. But you are just instantly hit with the flavours in this and it makes for a really, really awesome tasting cider. So for that, I am going to go and give Sheppy's Vintage Preserve Oak Matured Somerset Cider a 9 out of 10. I very highly recommend you go out and get a bottle of this right away because you will definitely not be disappointed. Um, the only guys that I would say um, to steer a little bit clear of this and a little bit wary is guys that are just becoming introduced into ciders like they've... Um, you know, trying to wean themselves off industrial ciders and going into more, well, real ciders, shall we say. This one might uh, be a little bit too overpowering for you guys, but for the rest of us, it is a quarking cider. Notice I almost said quarking there. Don't know why. So, that was another awesome episode of the Cider Drinker for you guys. Hope you liked it, because I certainly am. And I will be back for another cider. And we all know which one that is, don't we? So until then, guys. I'll see you at my 100th Cider Review. Take care, guys. Until next time. I'm going to finish this off. See you soon.